the sexually transmitted diseases known also as esterdi or esterdes are illnesses that has a probability of transmission between two humans by means of our sexual behavior. These diseases can be spread by an infected person who doesn't know about his or her infection. He or she can potentially infect other people without showing signs of disease. Danger lies also in fact that some transmittable diseases could be transmitted through use of drug needles after it's used by an infected person. Before it, it can be also transmitted by childbirth or breastfeeding. History of these infections is dated for hundreds of years ago. In World War I, I there was in posters saying pick you P.S. Good time girls and prostitutes spread syphilis and gonorrhea. You can't beat the axis if you get viral disease. There was many of these posters alarming soldiers to protect themselves. You may wonder why there is used the term viral disease. Until 1990s esterdes were commonly known as viral diseases or social euphemism. Venerus is Latin form of the name Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Public health originally introduced the term sexually transmitted infection which doctors are using alongside the term sexually transmitted disease. These two terms are different. We need to understand the difference between infection and disease. Infection means that some microorganisms such as virus, bacteria or parasite can cause diseases present inside a person's body. Not every infected person needs to feel or see any symptoms of starting disease. A disease is a state of body. When person feels sick and notice that with his slash her body is something wrong. This is the main reason why STI, which means that an infection with a germ can cause an STD, is more broad than an STD. STD refers only to infections that causes symptoms. Many people then use inappropriately the term STD while they should use STI, because most of the time you don't know that you are infected with an STD until you start to show symptoms of some disease. The term sexually transmissible disease is used. Since it is less restrictive in consideration of other factors of transmission. For example, meningitis is transmissible by sexual contact but isn't labeled as an STI because sexual contact is not the primary vector for the pathogens that cause meningitis. This is addressed by the probability of infection by means of their than sexual contact. Summarizing it, we get that STI is an infection that has a negligible probability of transmission by means of their than sexual contact, but has a realistic means of transmission by sexual contact more sophisticated means blood transfusion. Sharing of hypodermic needles are not taken into account. So if person has chlamydia, gonorrhea or gentle herpes it was transmitted to him or her by genital contact. Very interesting is the fact that even the common diseases as common cold, influenza or pneumonia and most other can be transmitted during general contact if one of the persons is infected due to the close contact. Even though these diseases may be transmitted during genital C contact, they are not considered as esterides.